The sausage cheese balls using the croissant rolls came out good. Oh, this is good. It's unusual how it came out and it's a very good appetizer here. Mm, good. Okay, for today, for a game day appetizer, we'll be making air fryer sausage cheese ball using the croissant rolls. Let's get this thing going. Okay, so we're gonna start with, this is gonna be one half pound of Italian sausage. We'll be using four ounces of sharp cheddar cheese, one tablespoon of flour, and a quarter teaspoon of dried rosemary leaves that's been crushed up. And then we'll be using croissant rolls. We'll be, we're only making half a recipe because there's only two of us. So for full recipe, you want to double it, but we're just using a half here. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is put the sausage in a large bowl. And then we're gonna add the cheese, and rosemary mix, and just gonna mix this up by hand. It's game day uh, Sunday, so we got other things that's going on with the air fryer that you hear in the background. We're making a lot of appetizers. So just mix this up real good like this, so we get the cheese and the rosemary into the sausage. Okay, so I think that's pretty well mixed up. Put this aside. Put a half this flour down. This. Take the croissant roll and just roll it out flat. So we're going to coat the flour one side like this, and then the other half for the other side. It becomes less sticky, easy to work with. Quarter inch squares here. And then once you got those squares, then we're just gonna mix it in with the sausage. Just wanna mix it up real good like this. And you don't wanna do it all at once, you just wanna do a little at a time so it gets into the sausage, otherwise it's just gonna sit on top. Okay, yeah, so you just wanna mix this a little at a time so we get this all these into the sausage. Such as kind of gummy and sticking together, so. So after you get it all mixed up, so we got the biscuits everywhere, then we're just gonna make these into one inch balls. Size is consistent. Hmm, got a small tiny one left, so. Not too worried about that. Okay, next we'll get this thing thrown in Ninja Foodi. So we added the meatballs to the pan and we have parchment paper on the pan because we'll be uh, flipping these things over, rolling them over later on. So let's get it into this foodie here. Close the lid down. Put on air fry. 400 degrees for six minutes. Then we'll flip it over and run it for another six minutes. And there we go. See you back in six minutes. Okay, now we have to flip it over. So it should be lightly brown. That's what it is. We just flip it over with tongs. We want to cook it to a temperature of 165 degrees on the inside. So probably the way it looks like, I'm saying probably another six minutes. So it looks like we're halfway cooked, so. But they look good. I mean, basically you can see what it's gonna look like. It should get better tongs. I don't want to squeeze these things too much and deform them. These are going to be pretty good, I think. Yeah. The recipe calls for 46 minutes on the other side. I'm looking at this. I want to go six minutes, I think. It looks like it's done. Okay, we took a quick temperature reading on it. That's what it's supposed to look like, nice and golden brown. Let's get this thing opened up. Well, as you can hear in the background, the bears scored, so. Yeah, unlike the last video where the bears were getting slaughtered, they're actually hanging in there now. Well, let's get this thing off. Little guy. So the sausage cheese balls using the croissant rolls came out good. As you see, we did six minutes on one side until it turns lightly brown. You flip them over six minutes on the other side till you get nice and golden brown and this is what it looks like. So let's just grab this guy. 
Yeah, it's cooked all the way through, as you can see. And it's got the cheese, biscuits, and all the seasoning all wrapped up inside of it. It's a big piece here. Okay, so this is a good shot of the biscuit and the cheese and the spicing. Oh, this is good. It's unusual how it came out, and it, it's a very good appetizer here. So, you know, help absorb the juices, keeps it nice and moist. Gives it some flavoring too. Gives it that uh, croissant flavoring in the center. So it looks like my buddies over there are, are waiting for a taster. So let's give it to them. It's my quality controlled animals. You know, this one here's got a lot of biscuit. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. Re san, re. Yeah. Hey, okay. Okay. I hope you found this video informative. Please click the like button. When you have a chance, please subscribe. And thank you for watching. Oh, it looks like you want some more, huh? <laughs> okay, 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 hold on. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys got the good one.